Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called Overcoming Sexual Harassment. Across the world, sexual harassment is on the top of everyone's mind. We hear about new incidents of unwanted sexual contact all the time. From the Me Too movement to the rise of rape in cultures globally, sexual harassment is an emotionally charged issue. So I want to approach this topic with respect and apply the advice found in Jeremiah 23:35, the message version that asks the question, so how do we understand God in this? Well, first, I'd like to share that I've observed sexual harassment in ministry. Many women I've helped recover from their abortions have been sexually harassed. As a group, they dealt with a, a lot of the issues like humiliation, fear, anger, abuse, and trauma. In some cases, harassment led to date rapes and unplanned pregnancies. Thankfully, with God's help, many women were able to work through the Liberate Ministries course and learn how to forgive those involved, people, organizations, society, and even themselves. Second, I want you to know that I have personally experienced sexual harassment. One experience where I didn't handle it well was when I was in high school, living in Florida. I had a job at the shell shop on the beach. One of my responsibilities was to organize the shells in the stock room. The owner's son, who was also my neighbor, gave me a ride to high school each day. He would come into the store and sexually harass me when no one was around. I should have told my boss, the owners of the shell shop, or my parents, but I didn't. I, because I had just moved there and I didn't know anyone. I didn't want to take the school bus. Instead, I wanted a free ride to high school. At another job, I experienced sexual harassment again. This time I handled it better, but it took me a while to say something, partly because I couldn't believe this is really happening to me. I am a married now, and I wanted to do my best at my job. It felt very strange. Even my husband didn't believe me at first. So when I kept describing incidents, we agreed to get human resources, my authorities, involved. So as a result, things got much better at my workplace. They tried to protect me as much as they could, but I still had to work with this person not easy, but I have decided to forgive him. My work performance improved. Before I said anything, I was so tired physically, emotionally, mentally. I was always trying to protect myself at the work environment. It was exhausting. I got to the point where I prayed that the person who harassed me would be delivered of demonic influence, lust, and be healed. That when he looked at women, he would treat them in a healthier way, respectfully. So how do we understand God in all of this? Let's turn to the Bible. In Psalm 116.6, in the message version, it says, God takes the side of the helpless. When I was at the end of my rope, he saved me. I know when you are harassed, it can feel like you are helpless and you have no options. Let's read a bit further in the chapter. Verse 10 says, I stayed faithful, though bedeviled, and despite a ton of bad luck. 
The word bedeviled means to torment or harass. Let's reread the verse again with that knowledge. I stayed faithful, though bedeviled or harassed, and despite a ton of bad luck. If we keep reading, we see why the person was remaining faithful. Verse 14 says, I'll complete what I promised God I'd do, and I'll do it together with his people. I'd like to summarize this section in one sentence. When we are helpless, God saves us. And even though we are harassed, we can stay faithful and our destiny is not affected. That is an amazing promise. So what are things that we can do when we find ourselves being harassed? In the second example I shared, when I was personally harassed at my job, I took some steps in the natural and also in the supernatural. Let's look at each type of response. In the natural, I told someone that I trusted. For you, this may be your boss, your parents, or a counselor, or a psychologist, or a teacher, etc. By talking with someone, you don't have to go through this alone. You can seek protection for the situation based on the laws in place in your culture. In the supernatural, pray for help and protection. I prayed that my husband would believe me and later that my bosses would believe me. After I spoke up, I continued to pray daily with my husband that the situation would change and that I would be safe. More action we took. We rebuked Satan from causing problems and interfering with my new job and co-workers. We canceled enemy assignments of sending men to tempt me to have sex with them outside of our marriage. We canceled enemy assignments against our relationship of trying to get us to break up and get a divorce. We reminded him that we are children of the Most High God and we are led by his Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Messiah, is interceding for us on the throne of God we thanked each of them. We rebuked all demonic lust and sexual perversion out of the man that was harassing me. We asked God to forgive him for harassing me, to forgive his life that he has reached this insecure, depraved state of living, that he would be healed in all areas of his life spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, and financially. That he would begin to look at women in a healthier way and treat them respectively. We pray that he would get saved, that he would develop a healthy identity in Christ, that he would experience an empowered life with God in walking in the fullness that God has for him. That he would learn how to treat women with respect, like his newfound relationships he will have with God. Find Bible verses to speak out on and rely on. The Bible is referred to as the sword of the spirit. Ephesians six seventeen tells us, here are verses to read and speak out. Isaiah 54, 17, King James Version. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, In their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. 
Luke 10, 19, the King James Version. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. John 10.10, 10, the King James Version. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for those watching this video. I pray protection over those being harassed now that their harassment would end, that they would be healed. I rebuke the devourer who comes to steal, kill, and destroy their lives and jobs in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. I also pray for the harassers, both men and women, that they will have patience and self-control sexually spirit of demonic lust and sexual perversion be God in Jesus name to be replaced by respect for humanity and themselves amen thanks for watching live life liberated